Here we give it up for Mosley Collins, our lead portion tonight. You're everywhere. I love seeing you, man. You're a hero. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robin. You know, like Robbie said, I am so proud of every person in this room. I am so grateful that every person that is here tonight has come. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because we're here on a great purpose. We're here on a great goal. And our great goal is to help Sierra Pregnancy and Health save the lives of innocent unborn children from death by abortion. If you're for that, can you say amen? Yeah. Thank you. So, I want to tell you how I got committed to this whole deal. A number of years ago, I knew abortion was wrong, but a number of years ago, I was listening on the radio, and this woman came on, and she said, you know, I'm an older woman, and when I was in my 20s, I had an abortion. I didn't think much about it. And now I realize I have killed the only child I would ever have. And that broke my heart. Because I have six children and 17 grandchildren. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> so, that's why I'm still working. Okay. <laughs> and it broke my heart. And so I said, I've got to be committed to this fight, to life. And so I'm really happy that the law firm, my law firm is sponsoring this tonight as the name sponsor. I know a lot of people are also sponsoring because we want to be a law firm that is known, boldly known, as supporting Sierra Pregnancy and Health. And we want to be a law firm that's boldly known as being pro-life. Yeah. And because of that commitment, I can never vote for a politician or a party that supports abortion. That's a no-fly zone for me. And I hope you feel the same way. It sounds like you do, because I don't want anyone in this room to have, have to stand before God on Judgment Day and explain why you voted for a politician or a party that was for the killing of unborn children that God has chosen for life. That's right. So I, I pray you will remember that when you go to the voting booth. You know, whenever I speak about abortion and the killing of children by abortion, God always reminds me I must speak about forgiveness, something wonderful. Because I know that there are people in this room who perhaps years ago chose abortion. 25% of men and women in America have chosen abortion. And for many people who have done that, it's a terrible weight. It's a terrible black place that you don't want to go there. And you don't want to talk about it. And you don't want to tell anybody that you did that. But I'm here to tell you tonight that God wants you to know that God will forgive every terrible thing we have done, including that. And I don't want anybody in this room to continue to carry that weight and to be telling yourself, well, God can't love me like he might if I haven't done that. Well, God can't use me like he might have used me because I did that. I want you to be free of that. And I'm telling you tonight, God will absolutely forgive you completely. And here's how I can prove it. 2,000 years ago, a group of Roman soldiers and religious leaders brought Jesus Christ up a hill called Calvary. And they crucified him. And as he was dying, he looked out at them, and he looked up to heaven, and he said, Father, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And if Jesus would forgive that, he'll forgive whatever terrible thing you and I did. The death of Jesus on the cross was enough and more than enough to forgive every sin we will ever commit. So I hope that encourages you tonight. I hope you hope you go home tonight and you're carrying that weight and kneel down by your bed and, and pray, have God forgive you completely and wash that away. The last thing I'll say is this, in Matthew 25, Jesus said, I'm coming back. I'm coming back in my glory with all the holy angels with me. I'm gonna sit on the throne of my glory. 
And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring all the nations before me and I'm going to separate them. Like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And the left off with the goats and the right off with the sheep. And I will say to the sheep, come you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you fed me. And those on his right will say, Lord, when do we ever see you hungry and feed you? And he will say, whenever you fed one of these least of these, my brothers and sisters, you are feeding me. Now in the day of Jesus, there weren't abortion like there is today. So now we have abortion. And I believe because of that, Jesus is gonna to add to what he says in Matthew 25. I believe on Judgment Day, Jesus is going to say to many people, including you in this room, come, you blessed of my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was an innocent unborn child, scheduled for abortion, and you saved me. And they will say, Lord, when do we ever see you, an innocent unborn child, scheduled for abortion and save you? And Jesus will say to us, whenever you save one of those innocent unborn children, you are saving me. So I hope that encourages you tonight to help Sierra Pregnancy and Health do the wonderful work they do. Thank you guys. Love you. Thank you, everybody.